Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself Ashwarya Saxena and this is the Fame World Educational Hub YouTube channel on which you are watching the current video. I recommend you to go to the playlist section of this channel so you would uh, get a numerous amount of computer science related videos and that would be much beneficial for you if you are a computer science student. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Now I'm just going to start with the third video of this particular series. We were working with the Kinter series and uh, this was the last program which we did. I hope you have watched the last two videos. This is the third lecture in the series and today I am going to start with some more new content. So today I am going to tell you that uh, how to use the geometry and how to work with fill. Fill basically works in the uh, in the content like uh, if we want to make our GUI responsive. So I am just going to use the fin.geometry to just give the geometry that is the size so i'm just giving 200 x 200 see this is the cross and this cross is basically the small x the first 200 i have given is the width and the second 200 is the height okay so geometry works in this manner that this is the width by height so this x is basically small x don't get confused now i'm going to create some labels and i am creating r label this is a label we have already uh, worked with label previously but here I am just going to tell you some more interesting things. So I am writing the text red. This is the text only. Now what I am going to give, I am just going to give the color as red. Uh, for that I just have to give the BG. BG stands for background color and I am just giving the color in small case. We do not have to uh, give the color in capital. This should be in small. And this is just the text you can write it any way you want. After that, I am just going to give the foreground color and FG for foreground color and uh, the foreground color I am giving white and all the colors we have to give in small case only, lower case only. So now I am going to pack this and now the new attribute for this particular video which I am going to discuss is capital X, fill equals to capital X. Fill is the attribute and capital X is the coordinate which we are providing. So we can work for the X coordinate as well as Y coordinate. So I will just demonstrate it here only. So these coordinates basically uh, this this fill attribute will basically fill the color which we are giving for the background. Okay, so I will just just wait for few seconds and few seconds after that you will just come to know when I will run the program. So here I am just going to write green and I am just going to pass the color also as green and uh, after that I am just going to give it blue. Okay, blue is the text and this is small blue is the color now I'm just changing it to Y okay two I have taken as uh, X and uh, one I'm taking as right I'm just going to give the side also as left okay so I'm just giving the size as left side as left and I'm just going to win dot main loop I'm just going to do this win dot main loop so now our program is ready to run and I'm just going to run it and just see what we get, got. You can see the text as red, green, and blue. And the BG color, that is the background color, first red, then green, and then blue. See, the elements appear on the window according to the according to the position as which we have packed them or which we have added them to the window. First, we added R button, then G button, G label, R label, and uh, B label. So the order which we have followed will appear same in the window also. Now you can see we have used fill x so it is getting filled in x direction and here we have used y fill y so it is getting filled in the y direction. Even the thing which is important is that now when I am going to just change the size of this particular window the fill will behave responsively. So you can see as I am just changing the size of the window the fill is working properly and uh, we can see it is filled the color is fill, filled into the window in the same direction whichever we have provided x coordinate or y coordinate so this is the basic thing that we are working in windows application but we can just provide some responsive uh, functioning to our window element also 
okay i hope this particular program is clear to you if you have any queries regarding any program you can just comment your query into the comment section if you like the video just i request you to just like the video tell your views in the comment section share the video with your friends and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe stay tuned see you in the next